Justin Trudeau finds himself in a position he can't culturally appropriate himself out of. Whoopi Goldberg misinterprets the contrast on black and white Holocaust pictures, and CNN President Jeff Zucker upholds morality consistent with his workplace. This is The Laughing Libertarian, and I'm your host, Alan McFarland. Where's Justin Trudeau these days? He'd like you to believe he's responsibly working from home while his bajillion times boosted body works through a COVID infection. Is this really the case? Or is he just too much of a coward to face anyone who isn't powdering his ass? I'm over this guy. Hey Justin, unlike your pampered self, working class people have an issue with someone messing with their hard earned money. And what about that fringe minority? You can't complain about the effect they have on the supply chain and call them the fringe minority. We're talking about a caravan of trucks that spans 43 and a half miles. Now that's only a few miles short of the line Canadian citizens had to stand in for a CAT scan from your miserable socialized healthcare system. But Trudeau is no tough guy. And the 14 and a half soldiers in the Canadian military probably wouldn't back him. And this is why his best friend and number one supporter, Gerald Butts, has taken to becoming a keyboard warrior. And unlike a few years ago, when he resigned under some murky circumstances, this idiot doesn't fail to show up. Calling truckers terrorists, even. Tread lightly, Mr. Butts. Your bestie has already announced that there is no place in Canada for hate speech. You can see it now that hoser's growling. Yeah. Take off, will you? We're doing our movie. Don't wreck our show, you hoser. And considering a large percentage of your drivers are Sikh, using labels traditionally tied to countries where that religion originated might be a bad look. Hey, no harm, no foul, right? I mean, he said it was a joke and deleted the tweet. Maybe before you throw that word around, you should point your face at the correct people. Your rationale is that truckers are creating additional issues with an already stressed supply chain. That's undeniable. But think about your posturing. If they decide to not do their jobs, they're terrorists. But your buddy's mandate would make them lose their jobs, so they still would not be delivering goods. It really isn't that difficult to understand. But at the end of the day, a couple of boys who can't lift a gallon of Canada's finest maple syrup need to get out of the way of grown men who make their country function. Just make sure Justin isn't hiding amongst them in one of his many Bollywood outfits. A woman whose stage name is one part fart joke and one part appropriation has been suspended by the same company that fired lighter skinned people for less. Whoopi Goldberg channeled the dumb this week when she claimed the Holocaust had nothing to do with race. It was just white people killing white people. Go, go, go. That almost hit me. And according to this logic, we've had Hitler all, all wrong. Maybe he turned people to ash and buried them in unmarked graves solely because they criticized his artwork. Maybe they just played their music too loud in that country. Or maybe there is the ignorant ideology that success in America is tied to the perception of being white. This is why Jewish people and even Asian people are being considered white these days. And you better watch out, Hispanic and African immigrants. Your industrious drive will one day make you white too. But aside from that, Whoopi is angry that ABC would dare suspend her for two weeks. And now we know why she doesn't go by Karen, her birth name. I promise you, the jokes just write themselves, guys. Such a funny thing, though, when you talk about names, especially when some people make theirs from thin air. When asked about her stage name, Whoopi recounted a man asking if she was Jewish, to which she replied, would you ask me that if I were white? I bet not. There's your problem, Whoopi. You don't understand the history of which you claim lineage, so you look disrespectful. But just like the Whoopi cushion you're named after, you're overinflated by the people around you, and the sound that comes out of your mouth is just beneath us. Now, just in case some of you are still watching the least trusted name on Booms. I don't, I don't give a... 
CNN President Jeff Zucker turned a new page for the network by resigning for only not disclosing his relationship with a colleague. You heard that right. A consensual adult relationship. Get your fat ass back here. But this, just like their viewership, was brought down by Chris Cuomo. There was a time when the ball was in CNN's court, but then the entire staff kept trying to share their balls with people who didn't ask for them. And now we're here. What do you think about this? Excuse me. Your balls are showing. Bumblebee tuna. Now we wait. Who will replace him? Surely a left-leaning establishment like CNN could just give old Joe a ring and he'll have a black female replacement in Jiffy. Why not Cardi B? Seems legit. At least it would just be her man having flings with her staff. But hell, anyone could do that job. They only have like five employees, 150 viewers, and three topics to discuss. Just don't hire anyone named Dick. No one wants to misunderstand what is expected at the corporate meetings these days. If you like what you saw here, catch all the shows on Rumble and YouTube, subscribe at both places, share us on your social media, and smash that like button.